Hey, good evening. Hope you guys are doing well this Friday, the 12th of April. Um, I just want to do my first uh, video that I've done in a long time on my NASCAR hobby. Um, I was out for three and a half weeks on vacation and then work trips, a couple different work trips back to back. And then when I got back home, had you know some vehicle maintenance stuff to get caught up on and of course work. And so it's been pretty hectic and I apologize for such a delay in the NASCAR videos. I'm going to show you guys where I'm at right now and I've got an exciting new project that I am just dying to get started and I'll show you guys what I'm doing there. So uh, hold on a little bit and let me change the view and we'll, uh, we'll bring you guys up to speed. So give me just a second. Okay, so back here at the table, uh, Kyle, you're probably ready to like, you know, <laughs> punch me in the brain I'll get these cars to you um, real soon I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping up this uh, this Kyle Busch Doosan the, the, the key parts that I'm doing right now is I am uh, sealing it up of course and I need to paint this spoiler uh, orange and a terrific match for these Doosan uh, colors this orange shade is my Go Mango from model master this is a great match and so I will do that here uh, shortly and get this car finished along with all the others that uh, you've requested and um, and get those in the mail to you so um, that's what's going on there um, let's see I got this cool new uh, jar and I am going to use that isn't that cool and I'm going to use this here for my wheels. So and I'll just repurpose this little jelly jar for something else. But yeah, I thought this was cool. Closed in there, yeah. Sweet. A little bit bigger, and it can definitely hold more, and just a little bit more visibility because it's a little bit wider and bigger. So happy about that. So let me show you guys what I have. I got my box in the mail here for this new project that I've got, and it's something that um, I've done a few times. But not obviously this specific, this specific car, and that's what it is—a car. I'm making a replica of a car, and done it for like older style cars. Like I did a Mustang, um, like a, I think it was a '65 Mustang, long time ago. But this time, I'm doing something much much more recent and new check this out this is a Hot Wheels Elite 64 Audi RS7 Sportback and it comes in this and I, and I just got the the package uh, the other day and it comes with this um, gray. It's like a, well, let's open it up and see. But the, <laughs> these are not cheap. These Elite 64s are not cheap. Um, so the, the um, typical cost of like five, six dollars for a donor car is, uh, is out the window <laughs> for these things. <laughs> Um, I was bidding on a number of different auctions to try to win this thing, and lo and behold, um, I finally won. Um, but let's check this guy out. I've never bought one of these Elite 64s before, so... Okay, so it comes in that nice little package, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get this out of the package. without just opening it up. 
looks like it's sealed in there pretty good. Ooh. Did not realize it's got that chrome exhaust underneath. That's pretty cool. All right, so it does say it's a 2021 Audi RS7 Sportback. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a replica of a 2024 Audi. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to open this up without just destroying the package. So let me see what I can let's see what I can do here with my Exacto knife. But I'm gonna I've got pictures of the car, and I'm going to try to customize it to the best of my ability to match the actual car um, that has been requested. Interior, exterior, down to yeah, as much as I can possibly replicate. This is not going well. Uh, I think my packaging is done. I mean, I'm planning on putting it in my standard display case. Although I may, I may get a different one. We'll see. Never done a German car before, so this will be a first. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a kind of a. Um, I think the color I've seen uh, from Audi is a Nardo gray. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have to completely uh, change this out for um, what is called their. Daytona gray pearl effect. Now, some of the troubles that I have with this, right, is I might need to, and, and I'm just thinking about this, the headlights, when I dip this car, they're gone, you know, and of course the taillights. So I may need to check Pato's site to see if he's got some Audi RS7 decals because um, I I'm gonna be hard-pressed to to try to make this I mean dip this car and then you know replicate these taillights and logos and such Yep, they are rubber tires. That's cool. Check that out. Did not expect that. They just got these two rivets. Let's see. 2022 Mattel. All right. Hmm. Got to be super careful with these these side mirrors they look like they'd snap in a heartbeat plastic I wonder if they're connected to oh yeah they are okay well, well wait a minute yeah it looks like there's a little bit of an opening so when you pop out the side windows they may come with it boy that's gonna be tough I gotta be super careful not to break those and I wonder Yeah, these are, this is plastic, so this might pop off. These grills will have to come off. What about this little piece here? I wonder if that's a decal that's not plastic. Okay. And then... Ooh, I wonder if that's... If that's is that an insert or is that a decal? It feels like a plastic. Yeah, I think that's an insert. I might be able to pop those out. So I might be good on the front here. But when I come to the back, these are definitely like decals across this back. This this tail light and the design. Oof. And then of course you've got your Audi logo there. I'm just kind of walk through, you know, this um, building this car. So, anyways, I ordered the paint. 
So it's a Daytona um, gray pearl effect paint, actual paint for the for the real real car. I wanted to match it perfectly. So um, getting a 11 and a half ounce can coming, so I can try to match that as perfectly as possible. And again, just replicate this car for the uh, for the requester. So that'll be fun. Uh, these are definitely tinted windows. So the the interior of the car that I'm going to replicate actually has like a uh, caramel color seats. So I wonder with these tinted windows if it's really going to show up. It'll show up, but it won't be as, as evident um, as it would if they were clear windows. But even still, that's cool. Cool. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if I can just salvage some of this stuff here. No, that's not plastic. That's a decal. Anyways, that's my project, guys. I'm gonna make make a Audi RS7. So pretty excited about it. Um, hope I don't screw it up. Um, but yeah, that'll be fun. Looking forward to doing that. All right, what else do I have going on here? Um, I got a couple trucks that I've popped open. I'm gonna make this uh, white um, Brett Moffat Midnight Moon Moonshine car or truck, as well as another um, Parker Kligerman Lux Beans Pinto Beans number 75 pickup truck. So got these all uh, painted. Um, ready to start reassembling them but like I've said before when you're doing these trucks you wanna you wanna put the bed decals on before you reassemble so that's it guys I wanna keep it short tonight with the video um, more will be coming as I finish up the the deuce on and work these trucks and of course this cool Audi so alright guys thanks for watching God bless and we will talk to you in the next video out here